Hi, uh, this is the Mitsubishi Electric uh, Power uh, uh, 40 MAA thermostat model. So uh, you can see here there's some indoor PCB setup. Uh, this is not actual indoor, but uh, this is similar to all the indoor components are there. This is a ductor model, PUI 24 uh, uh, JA indoor uh, setup, and this is a Power 21 new model, Power sorry, Power uh, 40 MAA new model thermostat. So today we going to explain how to change the uh, static pressure setting for the ductor model because the uh, ductor model have uh, uh, based on the ducting length and number of uh, elbow in the ducting so there is a static pressure loss will be there so to uh, to compensate that uh, losses need to adjust the static pressure setting during the commissioning time so there is a, uh, a, a uh, pascal setting like a 50 pascal 100 150 so whatever the pascal required during the commissioning uh, need to check with the ballometer or uh, anemometer whatever the uh, airflow check the airflow check all the grill and diffuser and uh, how much the airflow required for each uh, uh, points so need to adjust that one during commissioning so that uh, static pressure you can need to you can uh, make setting from thermostat for the mr slim model so i will tell you how to make that setting from the mr slim model okay so you can see this is the indoor setup it's just a setup it's not actual indoor but the similar to all the uh, it's same to indoor function so first switch off the indoor so then then go to the menu button then it will come uh, menu option you can uh, th there is a last function there is service go to the service by pressing this button it will then press enter this uh, tick mark then it will go to uh, service here it will ask the password so here you have to give 9999 this is the default password from factory Press this nine. Go to next nine, nine, nine. So make it zero nine 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 nine. Then press this uh, enter tick mark. Then it will go to the next page inside. Then go to the last others, others. Then enter. Sorry, not uh, not other settings. Go to the settings it will come function setting like that then press this enter button it will ask a refrigerant address so keep it zero because from the factory to delivering time the refrigerant address will be zero so in case if you change it already it's a one or two three like that so what refrigerant address you make so you have to put it that one so down the unit number there is a group you can see so group keep it one that is the uh, default uh, group number so refrigerant address will be zero and the group number will be one uh, by go to the group one by pressing this then enter and it will take some seconds uh, to collect the data from the indoor unit then it will show the current setting so these are all the setting is currently uh, saved from the indoor pcb and the thermostat so 08 this is the mode number 08 and 1 1 is the low static pressure and uh, 2 if you select it to I mean, the mode number this is for this is the one for the uh, static pressure adjustment setting so j mode keep it 08 and uh, it will uh, in the side you can see 1 2 3 so 1 is low static and 2 is medium and 3 is for high static so how what is the static pressure you need if you need more airflow keep it uh, high static uh, g uh, 8 and 3 in the mode 8 keep it 3 if it is uh, if you need a low static uh, low airflow then keep it uh, uh, a mode 8 1 if, if you want a me medium then keep it uh, mode 8 and 2 okay so now i keep it just like a uh, low static so mode 8 and 1 In case if you want to change it, uh, 
Right, study. So I am making a mode 8, number 3. Then press this enter button. It will uh, save the setting. It will send the settings to the indoor PCB. Okay. The setting is changed. When you are doing term, you can see this indoor fan motor automatically will run and it will go to the high speed. So which means it's it's uh, the settings is saved from the indoor PCB. It's working actual. Okay. Now we can go back. Press this back. Again back then it will take some time to go to the normal screen so it is asking uh, wait for a uh, little time That's it. So just go back, all back, and that's it. You can run the machine as normally as you as you want. But uh, then you can uh, see the difference in the airflow, machine airflow. Yeah. So this is this settings. You have to first you have to check the actual airflow. Actual airflow, how much you are receiving from all the diffuser grill from the uh, meter, uh, ballometer or anemometer, whatever that uh, flow. Then you have to adjust it. If it's uh, need more uh, airflow, just increase the static pressure. If you need less, you can reduce the airflow. So this option only for the ductor model only because of the, the pressure loss uh, scenario.